In this video, we will create a GUI application where we can insert data into a table in the SQLite database using the Python custom Kinter library. We will remake the entire project with you. I want to introduce the application to you. There are five entries and one button object in the application. I enter the table name in the first entry object. I created the other for entry objects for the columns. When the button is clicked, the data is inserted into the table. We can see the inserted data with the cursor. We will remake the entire project with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. In the previous lesson, we made a GUI application where we could create tables. We can create the application with these codes. I set the table name, column name and types. When I clicked the button, a database and table were created. You can review the created database. But it is not in a readable format. Now I will insert some data into the table. I'm creating a code file for this. I am importing the SQLite library. I can connect to the database with the connect function. I send the insert into command to the execute function. You can use the commit function to make the change permanent in the database. I end the database connection using the close function. Let's run the code. The insert into command was run. Now let's briefly learn how to perform the select operation. I am importing the SQLite library. I connect to the database using the connect function. I need a cursor to read data. I am writing the select command. The cursor variable is actually a list. I can access list members with a for loop. Finally, I end the database connection with the close function. We can see the output of the select query like this. Now let's design the GUI application using the custom Tkinta library. I import the custom Tkinta library. If the library is not transferred to your project file yet, you can transfer it with this code. I don't need SQLite commands for now. I create a variable for the window. I am adjusting the window title. I can adjust the window size with the geometry function.
by using the main loop function, I ensure that the window does not close suddenly. I created an empty window. Now let's start adding entry objects. The table name will be entered in the first entry object. I send the window name, text and width values to the entry function. I add it to the window using the place function. The first entry object has been added to the window. I will create an entry object for the first column. I am making the necessary arrangements. The second entry object, window, has been added. I create another entry object for the first name column. The third entry object has been added to the window. I create an entry object for last name. The fourth entry object, window, has been added. I am creating an entry object for gender. The fifth entry object window has been added. I will create a button. I send the window name, text and task function values to the button function. For now, I define the task function with pass. The button has been added to the desktop window. Now I will edit the task function. First, I connect to the database. Now I need to create the insert into text. I can access the values entered in entry objects with get. I create and edit a variable for table name. I will create variables for all columns. I collect all the variables in the str variable. I can print it to the console with print.
Let's test the application. I enter the table name in the first entry object. I enter the column information. When I click the button, the created text is printed to the console. There are no errors. Now we can use the text in the execute function instead of printing. I add the commit and close functions at the end. Now let's try inserting some data. First, I will delete the database. Connect function is a function used to connect to an existing database. Note that if the database does not exist, the connect function will create it. First, I will run the code we prepared in the previous lesson to create the database and table. I set the table name, column name and types. When I click the button, a database and table are created. Now let's use the GUI application we prepared to insert data. I enter the table name and column information. When I click on the button, the insertion process takes place. We can use this select command to access the inserted table. I will explain how to use these commands in the next lesson. We read the data we inserted into the table with the cursor. In the next lesson, we will create a GUI application where we can select the table using Python custom Kinter. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.